West Georgia becomes the newest member of Division I as they bring the A-Sun up to a dozen. The A-Sun gets back into Georgia after losing Kennesaw State, which is important because A-Sun schools want to recruit students and athletes from the state of Georgia. Moreover, taking West Georgia could force the hand of other Gulf South targets out of necessity, like West Florida and Valdosta State. As effective 2025 in football for the Gulf South, there will only be five schools left. In moving to the A-Sun, West Georgia reunites with two former Gulf South foes in North Alabama, who they played yearly from 1983 to 2017, and Central Arkansas, who they played eight times from 93 to 2003. West Georgia joined the Gulf South in 1983, and they faced off against quite a few familiar Division I faces over that time, like Tennessee Martin, Troy, Jacksonville State, Central Arkansas, and North Alabama. The Gulf South has seen considerable changes in its membership over the decades, and while their full membership is still quite high, for football it's going to be down to five in 2025. West Georgia has impressive facilities starting with University Stadium, which opened in 2009, has 10,000 capacity, three sections of chairback seating, and a double-deck press box with suites spanning 50 yards. Basketball plays in the Coliseum, which opened in 2009. It has a 6,475 capacity. It has three 29-foot by 34-foot skyboxes and a two-story lobby. West Georgia's 12,000 enrollment would place it fourth in the A-Sun, trailing only North Florida, Florida Gulf Coast, and Eastern Kentucky. North Alabama rounds out the top five, whose enrollment has been soaring of late. Here is a look at the athletic budgets in the A-Sun, but isolating football budgets. Lipscomb was the highest, followed by Stetson, Jacksonville, Queens, and Florida Gulf Coast. Considering they were operating at the Division II level, West Georgia's athletic budget is it far away from the ace on four as they get into D1 and have D1 revenue streams that budget will easily surpass the ace on four. Now here's another look at the ace on athletic budgets. This time it's isolating student aid money. So after you isolate that student aid money, the highest athletic budgets were Lipscomb, followed by Stetson, Eastern Kentucky, Florida Gulf Coast, and Austin P. Once again, West Georgia was pretty close to the ace on four, despite having D2 revenue streams. For football, West Georgia will be joining the UAC, along with Stephen F. Austin, Abilene Christian, Eastern Kentucky, Tarleton, Austin P., Southern Utah, Central Arkansas, Utah Tech, and North Alabama. Also, UTRGV will join around 2025. The highest football budgets in the UAC are Stephen F. Austin, Abilene Christian, Eastern Kentucky, and Tarleton.